Hi, I've clicked on to today's tropical tip before Wednesday, September 11th. I have to apologize for the lack of videos recently. Just came back up to school and that's been taking a lot of my time. I also have a new computer set up and that may mess up some of these screen ratios here. I don't know if this will be too small. Um, I'll try to figure that out as time goes on. Let me know if it's hard to see things on the recording. Um, if you don't know, on Facebook and Twitter I usually post about events in the tropics even if I don't have time to make blogs. Uh, so you can always check that uh, to see uh, what's going on. Uh, but during the last few days we had Tropical Depression 8 form in the Gulf of Mexico and move westward, actually a little bit farther south here. was just a depression as it moved into Mexico and brought rain to them. That's come and gone over the last few days. We had uh, Gabrielle regenerate and move uh, into Bermuda here. Really wasn't that strong. Tropical storm strength and uh, brought pretty much a naked circulation over Bermuda, but they did get tropical storm force winds there, and uh, she is very slowly moving off and on her way out to sea here very slowly, as basically expected. And we finally have our first hurricane of the season formed just today. Hurricane Humberto was a tropical storm southeast of the Cape Verde Islands. is now curving up. The last time we had Humberto was a sneak hurricane into Texas a few years ago, and uh, we have another one on all the way on the other end of the ocean this time. And uh, this now ties the date uh, September 11th with Hurricane Gustav in 2002 for the latest forming hurricane since the beginning of the satellite era. So again, speaking to uh, the strangeness of the season, which with mostly favorable conditions, uh, but this is only our first hurricane and we've had very few strong storms so far this year and so far our AC inde index is well below normal. But it is the peak of the hurricane season, and we do have several systems, Humberto, uh, Gabriel, and probably a third storm getting ready to develop here coming out of the Western Caribbean. And this will likely be the story in the Western Gulf of Mexico during the next uh, perhaps up to a week from now still um, with this moving out and uh, this likely to recurve uh, without really affecting land here. Uh, we'll be watching that, uh, but uh, out in the middle of the ocean. This one has the most potential to impact land strongly over the next five to seven days. Uh, this is a wave coming across the Yucatan, and again, we've had Fernan, we've had Tropical Depression 8, and this may be our third system coming towards Mexico here, uh, the Bay of Campeche being really favorable. Notice we've had a lot of convection able to develop in this area of the world here, and a lot of convection out near the Cape Verde Islands in Africa in between still pretty dead. But since we have this going on in here, this monsoonal circulation in Central America is getting really strong, and as these waves come around into the Bay of Campeche, they're getting a lot of moisture coming out of the eastern Pacific here. You can see a, a low uh, south of the Mexican coastline. This will be throwing moisture at this, converging with the moisture coming out of the Caribbean from the southeast as this wave gets in here, and so this is likely to try to develop they can take time to do so given the broadness of the situation. We'll have to see exactly where the center develops. It looks like the center right now is northwest of Belize of any low pressure that does exist. Um, but this will be watched, uh, especially for Mexico, because unlike Tropical Depression 8, this may have a little bit more time over water here and be able to gain a little bit more latitude before actually moving inland, and this could have a little bit better of a chance to strengthen than Tropical Depression 8 did. Uh, this is the 500 millibar height since August 1st. This is the observed pattern for the last 40 days, and notice we've had a big ridge over the southern part of the United States here. And this has been uh, crashing a lot of these waves westward into Mexico for NAN, Tropical Depression 8, getting whisked very quickly westward underneath of this Texas ridge into Mexico without much time to strengthen, although they do develop quickly down here in the southwestern Gulf. This is going to change over the next week or so. This is the GFS ensemble mean for day 5, and sorry, day 4 here. And notice we've got this trough digging more into the eastern Pacific now as the wavelengths start to get a little longer as we get closer towards the fall and winter here. Uh, the negative PDO out here in the Pacific starts forcing this trough a little bit farther east and so you get short waves cutting off under the ridge here like this one over the Rockies um, as this ridge starts to pump northeastward. And what you end up doing is breaking down the base of this Texas ridge here in the Four Corners region in the Southern Plains. And notice how it starts shifting eastward here as the short waves start, start propagating underneath. And uh, so as this ridge shifts eastward, uh, you see this down here. This is our potential storm on the ensemble mean showing lowering heights here. This has the chance to move northwest as opposed to west and gain more latitude and spend more time over water before making it inland, perhaps more to the north of uh, the northern portion of Mexico rather than getting buried down here near the coastline and not having a lot of time. So the danger in this kind of a pattern is that this is able to move slowly under weaker steering currents towards the northwest and become a stronger storm, potentially a hurricane, moving in near or north of Tampico. And uh, this is what we will be watching. 
and you can see the precipitation accumulation for the next eight days on the GFS Ensemble means showing the swath of precip coming from southeast to northwest towards uh, the central to northern Mexico and even southern Texas here. And I do think that in this kind of a pattern, southern Texas will get at least some rain from this pattern. A lot of the models are locking on to the landfall of a potential system here being in Mexico. And right now I like the idea of a landfall near Tampico, maybe a little north of that. Uh, be kind of, it would be kind of hard to drag a storm all the way north into South Texas at this point because it's developing a lot faster on the models now. If it were to wait in here for a longer period of time, then it would have a chance to come far enough north to come into Texas. Uh, right now, though, the models show it developing fast enough that it will probably just move in here. But it will be large, a monsoonal type system, and it will probably throw rain into southern Texas, which is a region that uh, probably needs it. Uh, so uh, that will be rain to look forward to. Mexico, though, if this becomes a hurricane, this will be a dangerous situation uh, because these uh, can ramp up very quickly, and uh, we may have a Hurricane Alex type situation developing uh, for the Mexican coast, and that will have to be watched carefully over the next four or five days. This is the European Ensemble mean for day five showing. Uh, generally where this is, again, near north of Tampico, I like this location. Some of the models are trying to actually bring this across the Yucatan and bury it in here. I think with the weakening ridge up here that I showed you, I think even if this tries to get drawn towards the coast due to frictional effects, it'll loop back up and uh, gain some latitude before moving inland here. It's also interesting to note that in a situation like this, we have a low coming in and then lots of energy rotating around and then even more energy coming around from the Pacific, which means we could even have one low try to dive in and then have a second one rotate around and develop farther north. And some of the models have hinted at that. So we'll have to watch to see if we actually get either multiple storms or multiple disturbances, one of which becomes a storm and moves into Mexico here. But I think uh, one way or another, we're going to get a storm to come in uh, to Mexico near Tampico or perhaps north of and uh, bring a lot of uh, nasty conditions that way given the amount of time over water. And this is the GFS showing the potential for this to be dangerous with a strong hurricane developing here within four days from now. So it comes across and very quickly winds up. And this is believable because we had Fernand develop very quickly in here and Tropical Depression 8 could have gotten going as well. The problem for them was that they moved straight west pretty quickly, but this guy may have uh, up to three to four days over water uh, to try to organize. And if it is allowed that amount of time, um, it could very easily do what the GFS is showing here and become a hurricane moving into the Tampico region and this will be worth watching all the way from South Texas to the south of Tampico here to see if potential tropical storm or hurricane conditions could cover that portion of the coastline and this is likely to be a fairly large storm so this whole area could get impacted uh, with tropical storm force conditions if something like this comes ashore so we will keep a close eye on that over the next four or five days that is about the timetable for when something will likely be trying to make a move at the coastline it's not much right now uh, um, but this kind of energy moving into a pattern like this uh, could definitely uh, wind up quickly, and most of the models agree that we will have a potent storm in the western Gulf uh, within three to four days, so we will watch that closely. Again, Humberto likely to snake its way out to sea here, not really affecting land. Uh, Gabriel almost gone, still raking Bermuda with strongish winds today, but will be eventually moving on, and uh, then we'll watch for uh, things behind Humberto potentially, and uh, this wave here, um, is forecasted to come around uh, to the west southwest and we'll we'll keep a we'll keep a close eye on that some models redevelop it here north of the Bahamas in a more favorable environment in a few days where Gabrielle developed and so we may have to watch this down the road as well and see if it can develop in here southwest of Bermuda all right that's it for today thanks for watching